Hey, what's up, Fit Fam? Uh, sorry, just kind of just waking up right now. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's been a while since I've done a video log, and I kind of lost track uh, a while back ago. Um, this is something that I wanted to do uh, before I got sick, and I, I just kind of like lost all the motivation. And uh, it wasn't until just uh, recently a buddy of mine uh, reconnected with me, and uh, he was telling me about YouTube and his uh, him and his girlfriend had started a channel. It was actually supposed to be something fun, like a little project that they were only going to do for like 30 days. And uh, it kind of just blew up and well developed from there. And uh, they have a, a, a really good fan page and stuff. And uh, it's, it's just awesome. And then, uh, you know, this this following them and watching what they do on a daily. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, you know, doing fitness couple things together. And it's, uh, it's, it's really cool. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy for them. Um, me and Matt. Uh, we kind of uh, bumped into each other in the gym way back, a few years back, and uh, this is like the uh, beginning of my fitness journey then, uh, before it got into uh, sponsors and stuff, so... But anyways, uh, just to narrow everything down, uh, I'm trying to get back into it again, and uh, yeah. So, uh, waking up, about to go... Uh, sport clips and uh, get my hair done I'm starting to bring the mohawk back uh, I've always uh, been a fan of mohawks and this was doing it for weird, like weird hairstyles so um, actually what I'm doing is getting a sun kiss fade so it's gonna be a mohawk but it's gonna be a fade around the ears and uh, I actually like it I had it done last week and it's starting to grow back in so I'm trying to trim it back down and uh, so I could uh, thicken up on the top a little bit and uh, bring out the mohawk but uh yeah so um and then i'm gonna come back home uh get some meals together and then uh i'll be doing some uh videos on that as well but um another thing i'll be doing too is shooting a video for the trim tough uh product review um i have you some of you guys that are uh, following me on facebook or on instagram or twitter or biospace um, i've uh, got reached out from a company to do a review on their product and uh you know it, it's been very promising so far uh the product is really great um i'll be doing a review on that i don't want to get too far into this as far as my video log for the day and then uh yeah i'm gonna be doing a uh another product review on this company that sent me uh, uh it's called green t50 from australia uh outside of brisbane and uh they sent me they reached out to me actually on instagram and uh they followed me and uh, we emailed back and forth and uh, so I have the product finally came in the other day which you guys may have seen that as well I post a picture of it um, I'm gonna be trying that out this week and you should probably see the review drop on uh, Monday or Tuesday I would like to say um, it's kind of busy schedule um, so I'm not gonna be able to do video logs every single day I'm gonna try to do at least uh, uh, two to three a week so try to let, you know start off at that and then see if I could work some more and as we go um, but uh, yeah I'm pretty excited uh, hey what's up guys uh, so now that I'm finally freshed up I'm about to head out now and uh, go uh, get my hair trimmed up and come back real quick and uh, shoot the video for trim tough uh, product review and then uh, head back outside um, do some work on the truck which I do some videos on that and then um, yeah then i head out later on tonight and i'm gonna do a uh workout video on the uh chest and triceps which is one of my splits and i also do some meal prep videos and stuff too probably gonna head out also to uh, bj's and uh stock up on some uh, meat and uh, some brown rice and stuff too so uh Oops, yeah can't forget about these guys <laughs> there's s'mores hey s'mores there's darwin it's kind of grumpy but he doesn't mind getting touched doesn't like get picked up though. And there's Babs. She's our first baby. She was the uh, first of the young in, and then we saw these two. They were giving away, where they were gonna put in shelter. Right, Bab. Right. So we uh, decided to take them in. Just gotta make sure that they're fed. Water's checked. Hey, I fed them last night in the hay, so they're pretty good on that. And then uh, there's a little food bowl. They go up and they slide back down, so they don't fight over the food. So they go up take turns and stuff and there's Darwin's favorite toy <laughs> so there's Baz she's the baby anyways get ready to go bye kids bye hey Darwin 
You know it's funny? He's so trained. When he hears the plastic bags, he like gets all crazy. Because he knows food is coming. He's like a dog. He's like my little pit bull. See? Little pit bulls. <laughs> Anyways, I think Google lied to me about the weather. It's pretty warm out here. But uh, here's my baby. She's old. Oh, yeah, got the boxes in there. So that was a pretty cool Pinterest idea. I'm gonna uh, make a little chimney thing out of it. So for a little Christmas decoration. But uh, yeah, so here's my old baby I always talk about. And uh, about to restore her up pretty soon. Um, it's got all the uh, drive chain and everything up to par. So actually, let's see if I could open it up for you. It's hard to do in one hand though. This is a pretty old truck. That's my baby. So, yeah, she uh, she was pretty hectic when I first got her. Um, pretty much farm truck. That's what everybody at work calls her. So, uh, yeah, now I'm just kind of restoring her up together now. So, take the motor out pretty soon. Get everything repainted. And uh, get the firewall and everything painted down. I'm actually about to get the exhaust put on. Um, the uh, new custom cutout exhaust put on there. So, it's going to be another video for that coming out. I'm going to do a whole full video uh, restore on this thing uh, pretty soon. So, But I uh, got the headers on there from Flowtech uh, long tube headers. And uh, I got uh, actually uh, um, side pipes from Flowtech as well, the uh, purple hornies. So I'm going to exit them out the side by the uh, end of the doors. So that'll be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty loud, but uh, she's beautiful, man, when she starts up. And for an old truck... I'm happy with her. This is my favorite toy, and uh, yeah, I just really can't say much more about her. All right, so we're in the truck now and uh, getting her warmed up. But uh, yeah, so uh, as you can hear, the cams not too bad. I accidentally uh, posted a video of the uh, the uh, text that I was going to send to Matt, so <laughs> it took him a little while longer to see it, for him to see it, but. Uh, Anyway, so yeah, she's pretty old, but uh, you know, I like it, dude. Like, she's, she's uh, you know, my pride and joy, man. Like, I get in it, and just the sound of it, the way that it feels, like, it, it's it's me, you know what I mean? So, uh, but anyways, uh, having a lot of this stuff replaced when I'm, I'm about to get it all restored up, everything's gonna be all blacked out. Um, everything, like, the, the dash mat's gonna be red, the whole on top interior is gonna be cloth red. Um, got some chrome stuff in here, actually, got some of the parts behind there. Um, but uh, I'm gonna have this uh, with a plate over it. Uh, I'm just gonna have this to all completely removed. Uh, I'm gonna have the uh, stereo relocated into the glove compartment. Um, I really don't use the AC or anything like that. I actually had that removed, but it was the one of the models that had it, so that was pretty cool. Um, but um, I actually uh, has a little pivot window, so I kind of use that for cooling, and it actually has a uh, cool boards right on the side and the kick panels so you just open that up and fresh air from the outside comes in so it cools your feet off in there so this is our one of the rare models that has that so I'm pretty happy with that um, but um yes yeah, so I'm gonna have the whole dut the whole gauge the whole uh, dash redone I'm gonna have the pod gauges in there uh, white with chrome bezel um, and I'm gonna have all my switches on there as well um, but uh, other than that man like I'm real happy with it um, I picked up this thing because the seat was pretty horrible, but it's going to match the interior when it's, everything is all done. So having the floor uh, carpeting all removed and every, the whole entire inside of this thing is going to be all bed lined. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, new B&M shifter in there. Um, my friend Scott Davis put that in there. Uh, what I did was we, uh, we, we removed the three on the tree and we put that in there. And it was one of the new shifters that came out that has the Unimatic in it. Um, so it's uh, standard and automatic. So when you push down into the shifter down inside, it actually engages the clutch and you shift back twice to get into first, then you one time forward for second, and one time forward for uh, another time after that for third. Um, real awesome. Uh, the shifts are real snappy. Uh, tires grip real fast. Um, I'm really happy with it. But uh, other than that, um, you know, just still got some stuff to do once I get the interior done. Uh, the motor's almost almost complete. I'll have the exhaust done on Wednesday. Uh, and, uh, you know, all this stuff's going to be all redone too. So, it just takes...
waste time, you know, so it's just a little consuming. Actually, I got um, ordered some bulbs. I get LED bulbs every for everything, the side, the roof, and all that stuff, so. And then, uh, yeah. But, uh, she's pretty good, man. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I can't wait for it to all be finished, you know. So, actually, me and Matt are gonna meet up and stuff, and, uh, I'll try to do some car meets on Wednesdays or whatever, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing the uh, Fox body and stuff. So, but anyways, uh, figure I'll show you a quick demonstration of the uh, how how good the body or the uh, the motor is on this thing with the street performer cams, uh, headers. Um, so now all I gotta do is uh, swap out the intake and the carburetor, and then. Uh, motor should be pretty well tuned and um, once I get the side pipes on there um, I, follow, I followed everything down to the T so far um, on this forum to get this truck to run near 13 14 seconds um, that's all motor and uh, yeah so eventually uh, what I'm doing do is gonna put the 351 uh, cams in there and stuff or uh, heads in there so uh, some winter heads but uh, anyways Oh, there she is. I'll have to get my hair did. <laughs> anyway, so just got my uh, hair trimmed up. Look pretty good. Uh, I'm taking a walk over to uh, Taco Bell's. Uh, get me something to eat. And this guy is, yeah, awesomeness. Uh, so anyways, yeah, maybe we'll give me some grub. Uh, I kind of missed out on my meal today, so I'm trying to catch up on my calories a little bit. Um, so I gotta watch out in the carb intake too. Uh, right now, uh, I redid my estimate on the MyPlate app that I uh, announced on one of my videos a while back. Um, I'm still eating about 2,300 calories uh, right now. Um, and I think next week I'm gonna step it up. Uh, so, yeah. It's gonna be fun, guys. Uh, heading back home now.
uh, where to start? So today was kind of a fail. Um, I did do the uh, you know the uh, trim tough uh, supplement review, and uh, I did it like a couple times, and my battery was dying on my uh, camera, and. Uh, yeah, I was disappointed because the third time that I finally got it down packed, it was perfect. Uh, no bloopers whatsoever. And uh, yeah, the sound just kept getting so distorted because I hooked it up to my charger. And because it was charging while recording at the same time, it was interfering with the audio. And uh, man, that, that was such a bummer. Uh, so I gotta reshoot the video again. Um, I wanted to do a video of uh, you know doing some shopping and uh, stuff that I buy uh, at BJ's or Walmart or whatever. Just uh, just kind of a run through of uh, what I eat, my meal preps and stuff. Um, but uh, like once again, the uh, camera let me down. Uh, I didn't have a fully charged, and the sound quality was horrible. So I'm hoping that this is perfect. Uh, but um, I had to take a break from everything and just relax and. Uh, uh, we did some shopping and uh, I saw this idea off Pinterest and uh, it's a little fireplace and I posted some pictures on uh, my Facebook and Instagram and stuff and uh, it's like a step-by-step -step of uh, what I used uh, uh, for the product like, you know as far as crafting um, you know adhesive sprays uh, tape scissors um, you know Christmas wrap so I used them in reverse because I was going to use poster board but it was just too uh, thick of a quality and it would have been uh, this a pain in the paint to uh, um, to use um, and then I used uh, like matte colors um, for paint and it's washable so I was doing it indoors uh, so I think luckily it's able to come off the carpets uh, but yeah I, I, you know what out of everything today um, I'm even though this took me like a couple hours out of my time uh, I'm really happy the way it came out and I'm about to show you guys in a minute. all right guys uh, so it's a fireplace <laughs> um, it came out pretty cool man uh, so uh, what I did it was I um, I got a bunch of uh, boxes um, I tape the boxes and the joints and then I use adhesive spray where the flat surfaces were so right here right here and these joints as well um, and then I, I got a Christmas wrapping and I turned it backwards and I used a piece of spray around the whole structure uh, then wrapped everything up um, and then I did a couple layers also uh, which actually got kind of rippled which you know what I can't I can't complain about it because uh, um, you know it actually came uh, better for my advantage when I started painting um, I got some sponge brushes and uh, some sponge pads as well and I, I cut the sponge pad uh, the sponges um, to the uh, rectangular shapes and I actually mixed the uh, colors up to get the uh, that color the way it is um, it was actually uh, apple red and I used some black uh, probably about a quarter size of black and blended it up and uh, you know what I can't really complain and then I used um, about maybe three quarters size of a, of a, of a cup and um, I used it to get the darker so to do the lining and everything and I also did some grains on here as well and with the ripples you can see a little bit of the ripples um, I actually used the brush the sponge brush and went lightly over the top and it created that grain effect as you can see right there and uh, what I did was I got some uh, clear tacks or clear hooks and some nice stockings and threw those on there and you know what this project probably cost maybe about uh, near 20 bucks or so uh, because I bought two containers which I didn't really need a second one of the apple red and uh, I bought a small size which of, of the black which is a maybe about 75 cents uh, the stockings cost about eight bucks uh, clear tax is only a few dollars and the uh, the, the it had a bundle sale on the uh, wrapping itself um, which was like also another 260 or so um, so it, if it is just barely over a 20 dollar project and you know what it's something fun you could do for the kids as well and uh, yeah um, 
I, you know what? I like it though. Um, it was something I, I wanted to do a background finish. I wanted to actually do uh, like a little flame in the background, um, but it was going to interfere with the um, central air system, which actually where my heating is coming out of. So kind of <laughs> convenient where it's located. But you know what? I'm happy with it. It was a cool little cheap project, and uh, kind of kept me busy while you know trying to take a break away from the videos and the issues that I was having early today. So I'm gonna charge this back up reshoot the um, trim tough product review and then probably head out to the dim and I uh, wasn't gonna do a compound workout but you know what I, it's just kind of so late at night as it is I'm just gonna shoot out um, the uh, chest and triceps and uh, call it a night uh, big day for tomorrow hey what's up guys so I'm finally back from the gym uh, it's been a long day uh, still got about two more edits I gotta finish off here it's 6 a.m. and I am dead beat tired dead beat so I doubt I'm going to be shooting any videos through up to midday uh, for today. Um, still got a bunch of stuff I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm going to have the, uh, what do you call it? the uh, my cardio and my compound workout um, in a different segment. I was going to put it in this edit, uh, but I figured it might be too long. Um, so uh, I'll put it in one of the top uh, annotations up there. And uh, yeah, so... If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon. Have a good night.